What's up folks? Captain Mikey coming to you from beautiful North Florida. Happy 4th of July everyone. I love the 4th of July. Celebrating our country's independence and freedom. Who doesn't love celebrating our great nation? On the 4th of July, we are here to celebrate. I don't even know, do these things even work? Dollar store confetti. Let's try that again. Oh. Ow! <sighs> It's a time to celebrate. We're celebrating our independence, our freedom, all the liberties that this wonderful nation provides us. We gotta slow our roll just a little bit. All that freedom wasn't necessarily free. In fact, it wasn't free at all. It came at tremendous costs. Those brave men and women of our military that gave up everything so we could party and celebrate all those freedoms. And I think I came up with a great way to show my appreciation and hopefully give back to those amazing men and women. Now, I'm no stranger to challenges, but this challenge I came up with, it's got a lot of meaning packed behind it. And if we do this right and you folks get involved, we're gonna be able to give back a ton to those amazing men and women of our military families that gave so much for us. Watch this clip and it'll explain everything. Hey folks, Captain Mikey from YouTube's Sawgrass Bassin, coming to you with a call to arms to the entire fishing community. The fishing family, we call each other brothers and sisters. And as we approach the 4th of July and we're about to celebrate our country's freedom and independence, let's face it, things are a little confusing out here. No matter what political side you choose to follow, there's one thing we can all agree on. The fishing family stands behind our military family. We stand, stand behind those brave men and women that have been willing to sacrifice everything to afford us the liberties and freedoms we enjoy every single day. And they are the true heroes of this country. The sacrifices that they make to protect our country, our liberties, and our freedom. They deserve us to stand behind them. I think I came up with a creative and fun way to show that we support and love the military family of this country. To be able to give back to those men and women and their families that have given so much to us. I'm calling it the Dog Tag Fishing Challenge. I had these dog tags created just for this challenge. A Sawgrass Bassin Dog Tag Fishing Challenge in memory of those who serve freedom. I'm gonna try to take these dog tags and turn them into fishing lures and see if I can't catch some fish. It's a fun, creative challenge that I'm hoping the entire community can get behind. The proceeds that I receive from doing this video and this challenge, I'm gonna give a portion of those proceeds right back. I chose the charity American Freedom Foundation. It's a fantastic charity that helps support the families of those that have served for our freedom. And I urge you and implore you and challenge you to jump on board this challenge as well. Try the dog tag fishing challenge for yourselves. Get some dog tags made up or make your own. Create a little video and share that to the world. You're gonna help share the message that the fishing community stands behind our military. United we stand. As the more people that view these videos and the more of you that create videos of your own and the more help we're gonna be able to provide. That's right, the dog tag challenge. This is gonna be a fun, fun challenge that I hope everybody can get on board with. I hope it inspires plenty of you YouTubers and anglers out there. I challenge you all. So all I gotta do now is take these dog tags and figure out how to make lures out of them and hopefully catch some fish. It's gonna be a tough challenge no matter what. But win or lose, it's all about the message. And hopefully you folks will help and spread that message. The more attention this gets, the more people that view and the more people that share, the more donations we're gonna be able to give back to those amazing military families. Make sure you share. Share, share, share. Share this video and share all the other videos that are coming out. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers already getting on board with this. Keep your eyes open to see what their take is on the dog tag challenge. But right now, it's time for me to take these lures into my shop and see what I can fashion up that'll hopefully catch us some fish. Can I make these into lures that actually catch bass? We're about to find out right now. Watch to the very end because at the end of this video, I'm gonna give away 
those lures I made out of these dog tags. I don't know how well they're gonna work just yet, but they're gonna be a really cool collectible no matter what. Stick around to the very end, find out how you can win. It's the day, today is the day, finally, finally gonna get to attempt the dog tag fishing challenge. I fashioned up three different lures. I didn't have, even have a chance to test them out. We're headed out to the water right now. I've got the roundabout on the back of the truck here. And we're just gonna try. No promises. <laughs> this is definitely a tough challenge. Definitely one of the hardest ones I've ever attempted. But it's for such a good cause. Win or lose. This challenge is all about paying it forward and paying it back to those brave men and women of the military. So, I'm on my way to the lake. I got my lures ready. It's time to put up or shut up. See if I can actually catch some fish on dog tags. Here we go. Finally out on the water, finally ready to get this challenge started. It's a quite a bit windier than I was expecting it to be out here today, which is just going to add more to the challenge. I did manage to fashion up three different lures. I'm sure you all want to see what I was able to come up with. So here we go. Lure number one, and probably the most obvious, it's a spoon. Just a simple spoon here. I put on a real nice little treble hook here. It's got a beautiful chartreuse fluorescent, uh, you know, a lot of shimmer to it. I haven't tested any of these out. My concern with this lure though, is definitely gonna be the fact that it's very light. These dog tags are actually quite thin, quite light. I think it's just gonna kind of slide across the top. I may have to do some altering. I may have to put some bends into this, maybe put a little split shot about six or eight inches above it on the line. I don't know, but a little spoon like this was the most obvious thing that I could think of. Dog tag turned into a spoon. Lure number two. It's the spinner bait. Yeah, the spinner bait, baby. Just crafted one of my other spinner baits that were here. Simply took off the big willow blade and attached the dog tag here. It's got a bit of a cupping to the blade, just like the willow blades do. I actually think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna create a ton, a ton of chop and vibration. The spinner bait like this, look at that. Even in the wind, this thing's already spinning. I think this is gonna work out really, 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 really well. And of course, lure number three. This one, whoo, I have no idea what to expect from this. I made a chatterbait. I took one of my swim jigs, I took one of my swim jigs and I created a chatterbait out of this blade. This was incredibly difficult to be honest. I had no idea what kind of engineering and innovations are behind a traditional chatterbait. Whoever designed the first chatterbait Mad props to you, my friend. Mad props to you, because these things were incredibly well thought out. I really don't know what to expect out of this one, but it sure looks cool. But that's it. There's my three lures, a chatterbait, a spoon, and a spinnerbait. All made out of the dog tags I had created just for this challenge. Whew, this is not going to be easy. We got windy conditions, but we're going to do our best. Win, lose, or fail, it's all about the message anyway, guys. As long as I catch something, that is going to be a challenge complete. Lure number one is gonna be this little spoon. It's a, it's a bit difficult because it is quite light. I wanna see if it has any kind of an action first. And you know, when it's under the water, it actually does have a pretty decent little wobble to it. Given it any kind of speed or pull, it comes right to the surface and just skids across the surface. It definitely has a spoon wobble to it. There's been bass, schooling on small on on little pods of bait fish and they've been smashing all over the surface what i'm hoping is if i can find find some of those busting on bait fish cast this little spoon anywhere near there and i think i got a good shot i think they're gonna hit it i think they'll hit it if i can get this anywhere near them i'm gonna put a small split shot probably about eight eight to ten inches away here and hopefully keep it down a little bit more this is definitely, definitely going to eat. We got that tied on. And I know this is here ready to fire when I see some of those schooling bass. All right. I got the spinnerbait tied on here. This big thing is, isn't that much bigger. It's a little wider, but a little shorter than the willow blade that was on this spinnerbait. I put on a really nice ball bearing spool that I had bought just for this. Should be able to get this blade to spin as best as we can here. I'm a little concerned on how much drag it might have. And is that gonna make the spinnerbait run side to side or anything like that? 
Oh yeah, buddy. Check it out. Oh my God, it's awesome. It spins like crazy, but it's got a really, really wide, really wide spin to it. The spinner bait is actually staying down and that blade is just chopping away like crazy. Oh yeah, this is gonna work, baby. Woo That's awesome. It spins so wide. You know, if I do have a trailer on there, it might it might hit that, it might catch up on that trailer. Ooh, I just seen fish busting out in front of me here. Let's see if we can get that spoon out there to them. Let's slow down, see if I can't find them again. It was around this area anyway. If I can get this bait into where they are, yeah, I know it's gonna get hit. But I gotta get it to where they are. It's so light, I can't cast it very well. Oh, they're right out there. I just seen them busting out in front of me here. Look at them. Oh my God, come on, get me to them, get me to them. So that's the thing. I'm gonna have to get this dog tag right on top of them. Oh, I don't know where they are now. They're in the area, that's for sure. Ooh, something just hit it guys swear to god something just hit it oh i got him i got him look out yes yes oh he's gone oh my god Woo! did you see that he came after it twice it works they want the dog tag oh my god <laughs> oh that was crazy guys that was absolutely crazy he hit it and came back and nailed it again oh second oh no i'm all tangled up Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh, that was so awesome. It was like the second or third cast. I didn't say, I should have sent the hook. That was a problem. Yeah, this is fun. And I knew it's going to be a challenge no matter what. A lot of people, since, since I've been talking about this and started this challenge, people ask me why. Why I'm doing this. And it's pretty simple, guys. It really is. Especially with all the stuff that's going on right now. All the political mess and division in our country. And it's just, it's a mess out there. We're celebrating our country's independence and freedom. Our freedom definitely was not free, guys. I have a tremendous, tremendous respect for anybody that serves in the military, our armed forces. What they do every day and what they're willing to sacrifice to do that, it's incredible. That takes an incredibly strong, special person willing to do that. And I thank them. You know, how can I pay them back? I see on the news, I see everything out there, veterans struggling, not getting the health care they deserve, not being able to eat, not being able to find jobs. And it, it breaks my heart, it really does, to see them like that, knowing what they gave up all for us so why am i doing this because i can that's why i'm here i'm not a wealthy man but I, what i do have is i have a voice and i have a way a means to get a message out there by doing this but knowing how it all works if i can do this right and enough of you watch this and enough of you share this and pass the message on i'll be able to generate that money that I don't have to be able to give back to those families, to give, be able to give back to that veteran that's sitting on the side of the road begging after all that they've done. That just breaks my heart. I'll do everything that I can. What little donations my channel and my video are able to, to generate, that's nothing. But my voice is loud and hopefully this message will spread enough that an even bigger channel an even bigger voice will take this challenge on and they'll be able to de generate and donate even more. So the best way for any of you guys to help, take a couple minutes of your day and share this video. There's a button down there that says share. You can share it right to your Facebook. You can share it right to an email, share it to Instagram, whatever. Share it anywhere. As long as you share it and it gets even one more person to view it, if every one of you guys do that, it's gonna get that message out even more. You ask why I'm doing it, that's why I'm doing it. Because I can. This is what I can do to help pay it forward and pay back those brave men and women of the military and their families that all sacrificed so much so we can be out here enjoying what we're doing and we can be celebrating this 4th of July. And if we ran across a bunch of school and bass right here. Oh, oh, I just got hit. They're hitting it. They're hitting it. Come on, get it. Get it. 
The wind is whipping real hard. It's, made, it's hard to control a little boat like this in, this in this kind of wind. And now I lost that little school of fish. Schools like this, though, they just move so fast. Oh, oh, oh I had a hit, guys. Definitely had a hit. Oh. He hit it. Oh, oh, come on, get it. They're hitting it like crazy, but they're not getting it. Made my way back to this grass flat here. I fish spinnerbaits back here all the time. Typically, this is a great spinnerbait area. This thing looks like it's running pretty good. When it doesn't catch up with the weeds, of course. I think I'm just gonna have to move it along pretty quickly. This dog tag has such a wide spin to it. It's not gonna be as, as weed free as that willow blade was. Working this kind of grass and stuff like that, typically, I would be throwing a willow blade. That's a fish, guys. We got a fish. Yes, stay on. Oh, he's off. Damn it. That was a definite bite, dude. Definite big bite. I thought I had him, too. Oh, <laughs> that got me excited. That got me excited. There was definitely a fish bite. The dog tag spinnerbait had a hit. Woo. <laughs> oh, I see a little light on the horizon. Gave me a glimpse of hope here. This might just work, guys. This might just work. <gasps> That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we got one. Woohoo! On the spinner bait dog tag. Yeah. <laughs> It worked, it worked, it worked. Check it out, guys. There it is. The dog tag. Spinnerbait. Got us a fish. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, there he goes. Woo! We got one! <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> that is just amazing, guys. I tell you. What a feeling. You have no idea how good that feels. Come up with this challenge. I knew it was gonna be tough, but I did it. I caught a fish. I made a dog tag that I had made up in memory of all those brave men and women that have served in our militaries. And I turned it into a fishing lure and I caught a bass. That is just awesome. <sighs> it feels so good. It actually worked. That's just the spinnerbait. I still got the spoon. We had one on it and lost it. I had a couple other hits. It's gonna work. The chatterbait, oh, that was an utter, utter disappointment. Utter failure. That did not work at all. It figures. Just as I start get, to get things figured out, we got a fish. Here comes a storm, a giant storm. As if this isn't a hard enough challenge as it is, I'm out here uh, floating around on half a coconut using dog tags as fishing lures. And here comes a giant thunderstorm. And I don't even know if I can outrun it. It is about to hit us, so that's it. That's all she wrote. Maybe I can get to shore, sit in the truck and wait it out. Maybe, that's what I'm gonna try to do anyway. Hopefully it blows past us. All right. Up. Had to take a break because we had a real nasty little storm coming. Sat in the truck for a little while. The storm is fast. Yeah, buddy, on the spinnerbait. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, number two on the spinnerbait. Oh, oh, hey, bass, loosen the boat. Hey, 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 come back here. <laughs> oh, he's just a little one. But he ate that spinnerbait. The dog tag spinnerbait got us another one. Woo! Hoo hoo! Yes! Yeah! Let's keep going, man. Let's get him. This is awesome. Love it when a plan comes together, guys. Love it. I'm throwing a dog tag in the dog tag fishing challenge, and I'm catching bass. <laughs> that is just awesome. Guys, I can't wait for losing. Here comes another storm, and this one looks wicked. It coming from a whole different direction. All of a sudden, and some of these clouds are swirling around here. I gotta get out of here, guys. 
I'd love to complete this challenge a little further, but we got a couple fish. But I am out of time. I'm about to get I'm about to get hit by an, an incredibly bad storm. The way these clouds are starting to swirl around, and it came out of nowhere. It got dark, I seen lightning in it. I'm done. I am out of here before I get into a lot of trouble. This thing is whipping up real fast. But I gotta say, this was a tough challenge, but we did make it work. We got ourselves a couple bass. We, had, we lost a bass on the spoon, had a couple nice strikes on the spoon. The chatterbait was a fail. I'll have to talk to you guys later. This is getting wicked. Woo! God bless the military family. But right now, God bless me. Get me, get me to shore and safety, Lord. Ooh. I would have loved to stay out a little longer. I was just starting to figure it out. And then a storm after storm. This one looks like it's going to be bad. There's lightning, there's thunder. The clouds are swirling and the sky is turning yellow. That's not the kind of storm that I want to be sitting out in a roundabout in the middle of a lake. And that was pretty tough. But, but we got it done. I made all these lures out of dog tags, guys. A dog tag. That's right, a dog tag. And I got it done. I may not have set any records, but that just leaves the door wide open for the rest of you taking this challenge. Should be a little easier to take the captain down now. I had a blast and I did catch some fish. That is a challenge complete. <laughs> So here it is. You got to see the lures that I create out of the dog tags. Whether you want to use them or just hold them on as a collectible, that's up to you. Because I'm going to give them away to you guys right now. This is going to be very simple to do. All you got to do, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this video. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Captain Mikey Moser. And I'll leave that all down in the description below. If you do all those steps and have proof of it, I'll do a random drawing of everybody that qualifies and I will send out my dog tag lures to the lucky winner. I'll announce who that winner is in the very next video that you'll see coming very soon on Sawgrass Bat. <laughs> there you go guys, what a blast. Now that the challenge is finally over, it's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Happy 4th of July everybody and to every one of you that served in any form of our military any given time god bless you and thank you so very much your sacrifices have not gone unnoticed the fishing community has your back happy fourth of july everyone i hope every one of you gets inspired by this message and reaches out and helps out our military families the best way you can if you don't know how share this video so i can help share the message for you so there you go guys I really hope you did enjoy this, and I hope you take the challenge on, and I hope you take part and share it, share it, share it. Do your part and share this message to the world. And if you did like it, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment on anything else you'd like to see me film. I'll do my best to make a video out of each and every one of those. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, you stay subscribed, because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time from beautiful North Florida, I'm catching fish on dog tags and spreading the love to the military families of this great nation. I'm Captain Mikey, signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.